Yo, what is good, my BGA crew? Welcome back to my channel. So today, you guys, I'm gonna be trying the Taco Bell Toasted Cheddar Chalupa. I am so excited and I'm about to dip it in this bowl of nacho cheese or whatever. I'm gonna tell you guys a little experience that I just had at Taco Bell. I'm like, oh my God, I eat here all the time. What the heck is going on, Taco Bell? Get it together. Anywho, let's get started because I'm starving. Oh man. So it comes in this pretty like tin metallic little wrapping. Oh, you guys. So essentially what this is, look at this. So it comes with this little holder and it's a chalupa, but they like toast it with cheese underneath until the cheese is like crispy and crunchy. Oh, bagway. And this is just a regular beef one, lettuce, cheese, tomato. That's what it seems to, to have. So let me get a couple bites in and then I'll tell you guys what just happened. Of course, I love my Diablo sauce. So that's what we for the use today. I hope everyone is in good spirits today. Okay. All right. Let's get this going. Mm. Oh, I really want to get this in that nacho cheese, though. Ooh. This bad boy's going to be hot. My God, you guys, <clears throat> I just totally almost died right now. That's what I get. Cause I inhale, I go, <sharp inhale> I suck like the, the air and the sauce when I take a bite of something and I literally just almost died. Uh, coughed up 10 lungs. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, I didn't even get to enjoy my first bite. I'm scared of that Diablo sauce now, man. That sucker's hot. Let's do a retake. Oh my gosh. Okay. And there I go again. I'm probably gonna inhale. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh my god. Wow. Sucker has to be drowned. There we go. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow. <laughs> mm. Wow. Oh my God. You can really, you can really taste that cheddar. <laughs> you can really taste that cheddar. So anyway, I walk in to talk about, <clears throat> and I order six of the new toasted cheddar chalupas. And so, um, I also told the girl, uh, cause I love Taco Bell's nacho cheese. Mm. Dropped a little. <laughs> And so I go, I know this is going to be an unusual request, and um, I'm not sure what it costs, but that's whatever it costs is fine. And I go, um, but I would like a small cup, like your fountain drink cups. The small one is probably like a little 12 ounce, 16 ounce can. No, it's like 12 ounces. <clears throat> whatever. And she goes, oh yeah, yeah, we can definitely do that. Mm, I'm not sure how to charge it or whatever. She goes... But I'll charge you for maybe five of them. But let me let me check with my manager first. I said, okay, sounds good. 
whatever, however you gotta do it. So then she comes back and she's like, she's like stunned and she's like, Ugh, like this, like cringing. And I'm like, uh oh, that can't be good. <clears throat> and she goes, my manager just told me that we can't do it. Um, she's like, because she said five sides is not gonna be enough to fill that cup. And before she can even finish, here comes the bulldog. She w walked up, not walked up, she ran up huffing and puffing, you guys. Like if somebody had said, like, like somebody had cussed her out. And there's a little teenage boy standing next to me, like maybe five feet away. And she thought it was him who put in that request. And she is just yelling. She's like, look, we cannot fill this cup with cheese. It can't be done. And, and, and uh, if this is going to be five sides, like we have, this is going to cost way over five dollars to fill this cup. And the girl's trying to calm her down in uh, the cashier. And she's like, wait, wait, no, no. She's trying to tell him it's not him. It was me. And this lady, she is not hearing anything. She's just like going at him. And, and we can't do it. And I'm yelling. And I'm like, oh, my God. So then finally, when she heard the girl, she's like, it's not him. It's him. She comes up to me and then lets me have it. We cannot do this. Blah, 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 blah. There is no. There's no way. This bit little cup right here is going to be way over $5. And I'm like, I'm shocked at this point. And I'm like, I wanted to just cancel the whole order and walk out. But I'm like, you know what? I'm hungry. Like, whatever. And I told her, you know what? That's fine then. Don't sell me the cheese. I said, I'll just go down to the supermarket and buy a can of cheese. It's not a big deal. Yeah, well, you go ahead and do that. It's probably cheaper for you anyway. I'm like, oh, is she freaking serious, yo? Like, who cares about cheaper? No one's talking about cheaper and all this and that. But she literally came at me like a bulldog. That is her name. Her new name is Bulldog. And I'll tell you this. I don't normally go to that location because that location is in the hood. Let me tell you. Uh, I mean, not just because it's in the hood, but I've had... Other experiences there with people just being rude. They don't give it. They don't care at that location, the employees. So I go to another location, but this time I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go to this one, whatever. I'll tell you this. I will never, ever go to that Taco Bell ever again. They lost my business, so I had to stop at the supermarket on the way home. And guess what? The can of cheese is almost, what, four something, almost $5. I gave them, I took my money there. So I'm just like, Whatever. Whatever, I don't know, she was having a bad day still. That wasn't, like, that That blindsided me. Like, why would you run up to a customer asking a simple question? Like, tell the cashier, relay the message, and that was it. Like, it wasn't a big deal. No one was demanding anything. No one was arguing. Like, oh, my God. Anyway, back to these chalupas. And hopefully I don't die by putting some more hot sauce on <laughs> Yo, this sauce is hot. Mm. Okay. Mm. I will tell you this. Mm. This Nuchalupa, damn good. Mm. Wow. Mmm. Super cheesy. This is everything. Everything you dream of. Mmm. And it got sour cream. Mm. Wow. Taco Bell. You still got my business. Your food is too good. But make sure you get your employees together. <clears throat> Trust me. Like, we go there and we're spending our money to be treated like that. Like, that's crazy, yo. Like, 
I don't get why she would have a reaction like that. And I even told the girl discreetly. Because that's how embarrassed I Like, you guys know, I'm not... When it comes to businesses, I'm not confrontational. I don't like to complain because of fear of, like, someone doing something to my food, you know? And so when I first approached the girl, I go, Mija, I'm like, I'm a little embarrassed. I go, but I have a weird request. And she was so nice. A little young girl, teenager. But that lady, I don't know if she was pissed off because she was redoing someone's order. I guess they got someone's order wrong. And this lady was up there with the little teenage boy that I told you about that she yelled at. And they were waiting for the order to be redone. And she's like, well, what did you get? What did you get? So what? What? Do you not want lettuce in it? So I'm like, what is it that you don't want? She's telling this lady. And mind you, I'm just standing there like waiting for my food. I'm like, oh my God. Hmm. You don't. I've worked in customer service before. So I get it. Customers can be annoying. But you never want to show them that. You're irritated, especially when they're being polite. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. And with all this being said, I felt so bad and so embarrassed. Like, there was a lot of people. I didn't even get to order my drink. She made me feel so nervous and so embarrassed. Like, she yelled it out. Like, when I first got there, I was being discreet because I don't want to announce to the whole restaurant that I want a big bowl of nacho cheese. Like, hello, I'm big as it is. So because she got me so, like, uh, upset, I forgot to get me a darn drink. And I was looking so forward to my Diet Baja Blast. I was already like, man, I'm going to order me a large one, extra ice. Like, I was so excited for my drink. And she ruined it. Like, even my energy right now, I'm, like, so low-key, like, ugh, you know? Mmm. But these tacos are making up for it. Mmm. Man, I hope these are not limited. I hope these are not for a limited time, because these are good. Mm. Oh my god, I forgot to give you guys a bite on the next taco. Mm. But yeah, like, bad day or not, leave your problems at home. People have, people have enough things going on in their lives and they go to that establishment to order food because they have a busy day or you know they don't they don't have time to cook or they just want to eat out and it's a convenience thing you know and we're going there to to spend our money and to be treated like that and embarrassed She called me out in front of everyone. If no one knew that I was there to get cheese with my order, they definitely knew after she became the bulldog came barking at me. Mm. Oh, oh, and I even forgot to mention, dude, this was this was another most embarrassing part. Um when the girl went back there to tell her that I wanted that cup of cheese, uh, there was another employee who was making tacos. Because it's like, literally, I got off, I'm inside, 
And the whole kitchen is open. You can see everything. And when she's telling him, oh, the customer wants this with cheese. And she's like, you could tell, you know, whatever. I don't know what she was saying, but she was like, blah, 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 in the back. And one of the other employees that was making tacos, he goes, what? Are you serious? Wow. Like, shaming me that I was getting a cup of cheese. Like, I felt so shamed there. They... They literally, she, not just the manager, but that other employee, too, that was cooking. Like, man, dude. I don't know I'm big. But, man, y'all made me feel super duper obese. Like, man. That was very unprofessional. Like I said, I've had weird orders at other Taco Bells. I never once got treated any sort of way. But this location, never again getting my money. Never. But I will say, look at that. All that crustiness outside is uh cheddar cheese oh my god again i forgot to give you guys a bite you guys i'm sorry i'm just starving mm. Mm. this diablo sauce dough Man. but every time i eat this diablo sauce guaranteed heartburn Guarantee. Ha. Okay. This is my last one. And I'm sorry I didn't give you guys the first bite. I was just so irritated with this lady. Let me dip it in some cheese. And let's give you guys that first yummy bite. Oh. Okay, here we go. Hold on. I need some more cheese. Okay, let me put the bowl. Y'all ready? Get your bite, boo-boos. Get your bite. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. And I'm, I'm that type of customer where I don't care. I don't need them to, like, kiss my butt and be this and that. But at least, like, she should have had a different way of approaching it. Not only that, she never once, like, apologized. Like, oh, you know what? I'm so sorry. We can't do this. She's like, we can't do it. We can't. We can't. And if we do, it's, it's going to be way. I don't even know. She even said, I don't even know how we're going to try. I don't even know how much it's going to be. But I'll tell you, this is going to be way over $5. And I'm like, you know what? I go, don't worry about it. It's okay. I go, I'll just stop by the supermarket and buy a can. Yeah, you do that. You do that. And it's probably going to be cheaper anyway. I'm like, this... This dog. Mm. I just can't get over and that crusty cheese on the outside. Mmm. Well, ooh, mm. Mm. okay, here we go. I'm, I don't know if I can do this in one bite, but. All in all, this is a good taco. This is a good taco. Mm. 
Well, aside from that negative experience that I had today, I just want to say that this, the toasted cheddar chalupa is so good, you guys. Oh my God, it's like my new favorite. And they also have a box. So this taco or this chalupa costs $2.99 by itself. So they do have the toasted cheddar chalupa box. It's a combo. It comes with a drink, a medium drink, um, the toasted cheddar chalupa, and two crunchy tacos for, I believe, $5. Yeah, it was delicious. Absolutely delicious. And I hope that lady has a better day. I don't know what's going on in her life, but whatever her issues or problems are, if this goes to anyone working customer service, I know we all have crappy days or whatever and people go through things as you already know what's been happening in my life and Diane's life. Um, but when you are at your profession, at your job, where you dedicate yourself to other customers, just leave your problems at home put them on the back burner for the time being you're being paid to provide a service for people and you're being paid to act a certain way whether you're having a, a most miserable horrible day you're being paid to put on a smile and treat people with respect and kindness um but anyway much love to everybody as always thank you so much to the bga crew for your love and support and if you're watching this and you're not yet a part of the BGA crew, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.